Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's August 21st, I believe, and it's currently 65 degrees in Chicago, 8.37 a.m. on the clock. So let's get into it. I've done a pre-shuffle. We have, you are here to master your energy, okay? That's why you're here. That's your mission, to manage your energy, to master your energy in a very effective way. It's got something to do with powering up power up your vitals when you're totally bled dry some of you could totally feel bled dry spattered okay something about activation activating something about middle ages or middle age the blood of christ spiritual physical and psychological important work you're doing important work it's important to get your sleep get your exercise enhance your nourishment okay when it's when you're feeling like you're having problems dragging yourself out of bed we do have 30 minute walk 30 minute read 30 minute hobby so taking the time out each day to do what is necessary with the exercise for your physical vessel the 30 minute reading for your mind and the hobby for your creativity so Maybe not 30 minutes, five at a minimum, I'm suggesting for some. You're smarter than that. So there's a decision or there's someone, I feel like there's someone that someone has trusted that they know they shouldn't. This person could be this fallen angel. Can't you see it? So there's something that you, you're you seeing that you're designed, des, I just... I almost said desiring and then my mind switched to design. So something is happening by design. Pay close attention to what you are desiring at this time. It could either propel you ahead or pull you backwards. You're smarter than that. Whatever it is, you, you're smarter than this thing, okay? Something to do with a domino effect. And then we have child support here. So this could be literal child support. And when it comes to courts, a child could need your support. This could be angelic support that you've had since you were a child. Something to do with farmland, the return of farmland, the return of something tangible. Here we have wrong prescriptions and sucker punched. So someone was deliberately harmed or found out that someone they trusted that they knew they shouldn't have trusted could be this personal assistant here when it comes to wrong prescriptions um that is a storyline narrative that has been playing out in the media and it could in be branching out to include more uh people that are known globally around the world something like that and it has to do with a blackmail ring so there's something going on about blackmail and there is someone here begging for your forgiveness could be this fallen angel i almost said yeah I'm, i almost i am saying phenotype and i don't know why that's coming out phenotype and growth mindset here okay well we'll go, we'll come back to these cards speaking in tongues this feels like the energy of yesterday where you're just words are coming to you things are sounding very different maybe it has to do with you lifting your vibration this powering up that is in effect that you're feeling having to do with mastering your energy some of you could be a taurus or you're dealing with a taurus and then we have, you can't run forever. You've tried before in other lives. I will always find you again. Oh, wow. Shape-shifting feminine. So some of you are dealing with the shape-shifting feminine. There's someone that you have walked away from in the past. They're, they're on your heels. This could be energy. This could be actual person. This could be this fallen angel here. There is something requiring your attention. Due diligence is required. Don't just take their word for it. That is taking me right back to that card that we're not seeing right now. You are smarter than that. <clears throat> so for some of you, you are making the choice to not heed your intuition. Why that is, I'm not quite sure. 
it'll work itself out. I'm notorious for doing things that I know better, <laughs> but I do it anyway, just because I want to see, I want to see what's going to happen. Some of you are very curious. You, you like a little chaos. You're, you, yeah, it's just what it is. For some of you, not everyone likes chaos. Some of us were brought up in chaotic environments, not really understanding until later in life, perhaps, that that is that can be somewhat addictive, the drama, the chaos, you know. So power, 58, could indicate a man or a woman who is extremely powerful that will soon be coming to your aid. We did see child support, so... That's significant. Not quite sure how it's going to pan out in this reading. This does have to do with you developing your personal power, which we saw with why you're on this planet to master your energy, to grow and to become much stronger. That's what you're doing. Obviously, this can't be done every day. It's very difficult to be your best self every single day when it comes to whatever it is you're doing, physically, thinking, whatever. You know, sometimes you need a break. So some of you could feel like you really need a break. It's hard to get out of bed. Some, um, someone could be lacking a little bit of motivation. Something about chin up, head high, walking with your chin up, head, head high, being uh, conscious of your posture, right? Being conscious of your posture is very important especially when you're out in these streets. You can't be walking all slow and slunched down, especially in the city. You got to stand up straight, walk with that power, that power stride. So something about a powerful stride could be this fallen angel here. Someone's tall, very tall. Someone's watching you more each day. God moved them away from you to protect them from the demons who protect you. We see this card a lot, a lot. Believe you are a part of source and anything is possible. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's get ooh, right out. Okay, 46, carelessness. You cannot afford to be careless or you will suffer the consequences. Pay attention to the money and the taxes be careful as to what you say could possibly backfire so this is reminding me of the stop talking card that shows up sometimes from this deck some of you know you're smarter than that meaning that there could be someone in your inner circle that you are telling too much of your business to for whatever reason, it's not quite clear just yet, but something about careless, do your do your uh, due diligence here, okay? You don't want something to backfire on you and uh, disrupt your happiness, which is number 43 here. Good news is coming to you. Important papers, opportunity. So with this tax stuff here, this money here, you have to be careful, do what's necessary so that you don't botch whatever opportunity this is that's coming toward you that might require that you have everything up to date when it comes to your personal records, finances, etc. A time of reflection of your life experiences, happiness is attained. So for there is the energy of uh, just taking stock of the things that you've dedicated yourself to, what you're doing, how much time you're spending on certain tasks, what is a uh, what you're what you're gaining, why you do the things that you do, not just for gain of something material, but for your peace of mind. So there's something that you're doing that you're you feel compelled to do and it brings you a lot of uh, joy, peace, happiness could simply be a hobby. Or just taking a walk. Some of you love nature. You love the trees, the water, the rocks on the water, the sound of the leaves. There, there's a lot of joy in this world. And many of you are seeing it more clearly than ever before. Okay, and also we have psychic attacks here with AI-generated photo. Be careful with what you're saying right now with this, this uh, I almost bit my tongue, with this AI generated photo business. I'm seeing a lot of content creators that report on uh, 
the political spectrum, and they are using the uh, thumbnails that are AI generated. And I don't necessarily have a problem with that, but because those those beings are already distorted, I think using the AI generated photos of an already distorted being just adds more to the distortion and could even create a little bit of confusion, hence by design. So yeah, be mindful of this AI generated photo business. It's it's not feeling all that great to me. I think it's a it's a trick. That's just my personal observative whatever. Okay, so let's get into it. Get one of these cards. You can't run forever. Running from something, running from handling a task that you've put on the back burner that you don't want to deal with. You don't want to deal with someone. Oh, here we are again. This card came out, I believe, in yesterday's second reading. He's changing, wants to be a better man before it is too late. So that is going back to taking stock, a time of reflection of your life experiences. So this masculine, or it could be feminine, because we did see the shape-shifting feminine energy here, is changing. There is change. Change is coming. It, change is coming for those who don't want to change even. It's, it's just what has to be. So something has to be. And there is someone focused on you. It's, it's a genuine love here. It's a genuine love. It might not be the kind of love that you want currently in your life, but it is genuine for whatever is considered genuine for this person that's changing. This change is uh, questionable. Not sure what sort of changes these are. Better means different things to different people. So let's keep going. But their time is of the essence. Someone wants to be happy with you before it's over. Before it's truly over. You can't run forever. I'm not going to allow it. You tried before. So this person has been following you through timelines. Exhaustion. This could be the exhaustion that some of you could be feeling hard to get out of bed. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep, get some exercise, take nourishment, feeling your damn self. It's time to get into your body. Time to get back into your body that isn't being pursued energetically by a, uh, could, it feels like a kindred soul. I don't know, kindred soul or not. Kindred soul in reverse, twin flame in reverse. Something's in reverse. Carry on, bish, toodles. <laughs> so I feel like in some cases for anyone dealing with a, a partner male or, or a female that uh, okay how do I say this okay let's just say this is for example this is a masculine that some of you are no longer dealing with they ran off to a karmic so male or female ran off to a karmic, which is this bitch here, right? They're focused on you. And now they're telling all these external energies that they're seeing for who they are. Like, carry on. I'm done with you. You're messing up what I'm trying, what I got. Try I'm trying to get going. Okay. So someone is trying to get going with you and they're telling everyone else to kick rocks. They've learned their lesson when it comes to these karmics. Which I don't even like to use that term anymore, karmics. Just people that this person is no longer vibing with. They've made some changes, certainly. And they can't tolerate what they once could. Same as you. Okay? Oh, man. And so you should know this time apart has caused me great misery. You've hurt me deliberately. I'm angry. So this person who is telling everyone else to kick rocks, get away from me. I've got to get my boo back. They're still mad at you. <laughs> they're still mad at you. They're absolutely miserable. And they want you to know that they're miserable. I don't think this is something that this person wanted you to know prior. But now they're so miserable that it's just like, okay, you got to know. You need to know how I feel so that we can get on with it. Someone wants to get on with it. Okay, what's this? 
Keep raising your bar. There is no need to the miracle that you are. So this energy does know that it will take a absolute miracle hand of God to get you back. This fallen angel, we're seeing it again. Can't you see it? They see it now. This person, whoever they are, they took pride in being a little dastardly, but now they've had some sort of uh, light bulb moment, if you will. Good Could be due to uh, accidentally touching something electrical with a wet finger. They got the shock. You've given this person the shock of their life. So there's something that you're doing that is creating a ripple effect shock wave. Be aware of all the joy around you. Become a participant, not a spectator. So whoever this is external to you, they're tired of watching you. They want to participate in your life. Fallen angel still at the bottom. So let's get one of these here. He's changing, you're changing. Everything's changing. Whoa. It, oh, come on, you know. <laughs> This is bananas. Okay, bananas. You are not without blame, you know. <laughs> this separation isn't all my fault. Here we go again. Here we go again with that finger wagging. That finger wagging this person. You come to me in my dreams. This came out yesterday. I can't escape you no matter how drunk I get. Same ink as this card here. It will never be over between us. I won't allow it. <sighs> okay collective i don't know this could be two energies this could be a split personality i don't know what this is but they they're not playing when it comes to you okay i don't know if you should be flattered or scared or or what maybe a little bit entertained okay you come to me in my dreams. I can't escape you no matter how drunk I get. This person is tired of drinking. Whoever they are, they're tired of drinking. Fallen angel, uh, fallen angels can drink. They they can hold a lot of liquor. So this person could be big. They hold they can hold a lot of liquor, but I don't know. Something about holding their liquor. Someone's holding a lot of liquor. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this. Let's get the uh this is, yeah, I'm, this is crazy. Okay, you are not without blame. So this is the uh, purple link, the, the crown chakra. This is like turquoise. So blue and green turquoise. So that's throat and heart. And then we've got this heart here. Keep raising your bar. So this person knows that you are functioning from all different levels, all different chakras. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. Behind this card, you are not without blame. You've, you've forgotten I picked you up and carried you to your door more often, more than once, in fact. So this person is on a tangent, whoever they are. You did me wrong, too. It's in the reverse. So all this, you've called this person's bluff. You've called this person's bluff. You continue to call their bluff by ignoring them, and they're just having a doggone adult toddler tantrum. And they are making it very adamant to everyone around them that they're not there. There's no way in hell, there's no force on this planet that is going to keep you apart. Jeez Louise, what in the world? You come to me in my dream. So there's that astral travel. You could be you could be doing something to this person in the dream state and maybe not aware of it, hence why you've been waking up tired. I don't know. I don't know. This person's like, you're not without blame. You you did you did me wrong too, but they're not they they're lying. Call the authorities. I don't care. That's the red ink. You stay winning while they stay watching. So they're, yeah, you got more than one person watching you. Am I delusional? Perhaps. I mean, y'all, y'all saw me shuffle this damn deck. What the heck is happening? 
Am I delusional? Perhaps, but so are you. We belong together and together we will be. So this person was telling folks you were delusional, this, that, and the other. Now they're like, so what? She's delusional. So what? He's delusional. I'm delusional too. And we're going to be delusional and happy together with the whole head rocking thing. <laughs> you were supposed... Oh my gosh. So this is a conversation. This is some sort of telepathic conversation that is going back and forth day in and day out. This is a constant communication. You may or may not be aware of it. You might be getting little bit snippets here and there. You're hearing things in your head. And you're like, is that me? Is that my thought? Or what, 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 what'd you say? So this is like a back and forth. You were supposed to be there for me, but instead you ran. This is epic twin flame energy, man. Epic. Epic. I never demanded you to be less than who you are. I simply couldn't handle you. And so I walked away. I'm back now. I'm back. You ran. I ran. Now let's just get back. You will... Ugh. You will marry me someday. I will not have it any other way. Okay, well, I'm just going to put all of this back because someone is definitely there on a mission and that mission is you, okay? That might be the title of this reading. You are someone's mission in this life. Make no bones about it. Something about bone broth. Some of you could be making some interesting recipes, bone broth for immune repair. I don't know where that's coming from. Goodness, you come to me in my dreams. I can't escape you no matter how drunk I get. They see your winning streak. You've entered into this winning season. Your voice is being heard. You haven't even begun to hit the surface. Okay, of what you are here to do. You've only just begun. And maybe you don't realize that. Okay, we've got student in the reverse and it's landing on be aware of the joy all around you. So the shadow for student is arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge, unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. So... I feel like whoever this is that is in hot pursuit of you, whether that's energetically or physically, they can't admit to themselves that, I don't know, I have to stop what I was just going to say. It's not, it's, it doesn't feel right. Arrogance in pursuit of destructive knowledge is the shadow for student. Okay, arrogance the arrogance, not seeing the joy. Someone's too arrogant that they couldn't see the particles. Something about particles, spectator. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to come back to it. Hedonist is at the bottom and we've got trickster and rescuer trying to peek out. Healer is behind hedonist. So you've healed. I feel like you've healed many people. You've healed many people and maybe you feel like you spent way too much time with someone that you couldn't reach. Like whatever energy this is that is that could even feel like it's surrounding you, you tried your best to reach this person, but they weren't ready to see the joy around them. They weren't ready. And with this card coming out in the reverse, they still might not be ready. There's a lot of ego here. I mean, someone that's saying, you know, call the authorities, I don't care. Fine, I get it. You know, the authorities can kick rocks a lot of times. But in this case, this is this is someone that's saying, yeah, I'm coming around you. I'm stalking you. I'm, I'm just going to keep invading your space until you let me in. And I don't care who you call. I don't care what demons protect you, what angels protect you. I don't care if the archangels land on my forehead and kick me into Pluto. It doesn't matter. Because I'm this fallen angel and I'm going to keep coming for you. You did me wrong too. But it was in the reverse. So they, they're on, this person is on some BS, man. You've forgotten I once picked you up. Maybe this person did pick you up, literally. Maybe they did carry you to the door. But maybe you should have shut the door then. Maybe you should have. The door's been closed. They, yeah. Okay, let's just keep going. 
you come to me in my dreams. I can't escape you. So they're very upset that they can't escape you. <sighs> hmm. They want they want to know that you love them. Yeah. Samaritan monk monk nun and networker. It kind of landed on carry on bish. So the shadow is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. The uh, light is refined your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Yeah, with this carry on, Bish, this is definitely the uh, shadow for Samaritan. Like whoever this person is that has told their whole crew to just go and stay away from them. They're busy. They, they're not interested in, in dealing with the, these networks here, with this networker. Conveys information only for personal gain. Spreads fear and falsehood. That's the shadow and the light is. Enhances unity through the sharing of information. Engenders social awareness and empathy. So this is about switching sides to networker. People that really thought they were on the right side, genuinely so, speaking from a place of the heart, but now are realizing that, no, that was all an illusion. I've got to reset my course. I feel like this is this person here that has exited from these false matrix network systems, okay? And then we've got this monk nun negative judgment of the physical world, which just go, it goes right back to being aware of all the joy that's surrounding you with this student that's in the reverse that's saying unwillingness to translate knowledge into act, action, arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. So there are a lot of networks right now that are deliberately uh, misguiding others. They are in positions of authority they could have a massive platforms, and they're working for the wrong side, and they they know it. They know it. Negative judgment of the physical world, excess piety, is a shadow for monk, nun, carry on, bish. So yeah, you uh, you some of you could really have your hands full when it comes to someone or many people determined to have access to you. You're, you're truly admired, whoever you are. And so, you know, that, that's just part of the territory. I feel like for some of you, you understand what territory you're in. You know, it's kind of like that gang war energy where there are certain neighborhoods and, and blocks and things like that that some people know they have no business being on because it's just going to garner some unwanted attention and whole lot of other things but you know it, it it's it's done anyway crossing into uh on uh what do you call it on something territories hmm. whatever this is this is new water for this person exiting these networks that they depended on for their power yeah I don't, I don't even know what I just said. King here, it's in the upright yesterday. It came out in the reverse. Enlightened, benevolent leadership benefiting those in your charge. So someone's doing an about face. About face. This has to do with your lingering energy. You come to me in my dreams. Okay, I got it. So... I don't know how this is working out, but for some of you, you are like that spiritual warrior. And so you could be visiting many, many in their dreams, letting them know that this is your last chance to get it right. You're very close to the edge. Someone in a leadership, powerful position is very close to the edge and they don't have a lot of time to get it right. Entrapment, number nine, you may feel trapped by a person, career, money, or children. You may also feel that things are closing in around you. This will end within nine months. Planning is needed. So there is a planning that's needed. Now is not the time to trust those uh, 
that you know can't be trusted. So I'm not sure what that's about. Someone could be wanting to, I'll just use an example. Like, let's just say you have an uncle that drinks too much. And um, on this particular day, you, you have to get to a meeting or somewhere and you can't pick your kids up. And you ask your uncle, who's sober at the time that you asked them to pick your kids up, However, when they drop your kids off, this person is drunk and you're just thanking the Lord that your kids got home safe, but you're also kicking yourself because you knew that you shouldn't have trusted that person. So that's just an example, but whatever this, what part of this reading that applies to, take it how it might resonate. So being very um, truthful with who you know you can't trust, something like that, okay? Let's go back. I'm, I, I keep trying to get <laughs> clarity for this. You come to me in my dreams. Nothing, everything's bouncing away from this card. So someone is very intimidated by your astral energy. You could be uh, mastering your astral travel. Something about that. Something about your in and out of body experiences that you're, you're uh, doing in the uh, sleep stage. So for some of you who are active dreamers and you, you're able to dream in color and hear different voices, different tones, different languages, and you can uh, wake up with a lot of recall, you could be going through a time where you're waking up and everything's just kind of a blank slate. It's because you're active in someone else's state of being and you're, you're making adjustments. Hmm. So this could be a new skill. Some sort of new skill. You come to me. Oh, hedonist. What a card to come out. Inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. Is the light attribute. And you know what? I'm going to stick with that because it, it does clarify what I was saying about you, collective being this master astral traveler going into other people's mental states during these these it's a very small timeline I feel like so that they can become aware so some sort of ignition inspiring it's more than expiring it's lighting that fire so you're lighting the fires of others could be Fallen angel energy. Maybe you've been put in charge of these energies some kind of way. I don't, this is so weird. I don't know. Let's keep going. He's changing, wants to be a better man. Okay, so this is right above this card. And we do have kind of like a red. Oh, this is, this is more like a burnt orange. Pursues the pleasures to the detriment of health. Indulges in it at the expense of others. So this drunk here you're helping this fallen angel male or female sober up sober to the realities that life is meant to be enjoyed okay becoming a participant not participating in nonsense conjured up nonsense okay so hedonist we'll put that back there at the bottom, we have victim and visionary, followed by child nature and child eternal. So you're uh, you're you're doing things, yeah, angel and goddess night. So there's something about deliverance, delivery. I don't know what this is, but it seems really big, bigger than what I can uh, scribe. Something about scribe, a scribe to scribe. Something about literature. You you wrote you wrote the book. Something you were like the original author of the book. I don't know. Oh yeah yeah, he's changing. So there. Oh Lord have mercy. Vampire just came out sideways. So he's changing, but it's it's in process. He she. You've shaken this, this vampire out of their nest. You set the nest on fire. <laughs> what? The shadow is depleting others for your psychic survival. We did see psychic attacks. 
chronic complaining and codependency. So this person is changing. They, they, they've started, okay? It's going to be a process. They've started with kicking all of their, their networks to the side. <clears throat> and it could be hard. They could have had to sacrifice a lot, like a job, a home. Makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So I feel like you've been going into people's dream state, showing them exactly what is draining their life force. You're waking up the masses. <coughs> it's got to do with your delivery. Hmm. Okay, keep raising the bar. There is no end to the miracle that you are. So, bar. Something about bars, drunk, closing the bar. There could be a lot of bar closure, closures in your community. Something about a bar closure. This could be a franchise or something you're going to read about in the news feed or hear about. Damn, so we've got three cards coming out. Keep raising your bar. Damn, so companion, dilettante, dilettante, and these are all kind of the same, uh, similar color spectrum here. We'll start with the, the damsel, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. That's something that I feel like you've certainly done. For some of you, you were addicted to this fallen angel type of energy, this back and forth. You've released yourself from that. You, you understand what healthy romance is and that's the only thing that you're going to accept in your life. That the it's the only thing that you that your body will allow you to accept because you've raised your vibration so high, and it's something that is being done frequently. The companion, loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. You're not going to engage with anyone that takes away these aspects of yourself. And it's it, it, it's something that happens when you deal with these vampire hedonistic energies that are just nothing but takers, it, it'll, it, it forces you to be quite selfish. And that's that goes against your nature for some of you. So with this dilettante, we have delights in the arts. Okay, we did see the creative here with the light attribute of the uh, creative energy for hedonists inspires. Delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. And so... Not becoming superficial, continuing to be unselfish. You're doing all of these things because you can't even fully create if you're selfish because then you're not able to display all of these talents that you have that you're continuously finding out about yourself. You're like, like an onion that's being peeled and there's a layer after layer after layer and it's just all simply divine and gorgeous and encouraging not just to yourself but to others virgin here that pure spirit symbolic purity of heart and spirit so i think i'll leave that there we'll get one of these frequency cards i don't really want to go into the tarot because i think this just is more about um personality even the energy of the personality less action except for when it comes to what you're doing to raise your bar implementing these small changes here and there and also showing others how to do it. Well, maybe I should go into the tarot. I don't know. Let me just get an energy card. Oh, that came out really fast. Solar plexus chakra. It's kind of uh, the same color as this companion here, number three. So this is a frequency of solar plexus chakra. The yellow flower of life supports our sense of self. Exactly. Keep raising your bar, supporting your sense of self, your personal power, your willpower, knowing who you are and what your contribution is to the whole to the whole to the whole including these fallen angel energies that could be why you were sent here to uh get these you know get these these souls in order so there's something about you bringing in the order to all it's got to do with the all this is fantastic I'm loving this, this combination here. Hmm. I feel like I need some numbers. Ooh, look, empowerment. This came out in yesterday's second reading. So I do feel like this is somewhat of a spinoff of yesterday's 
second reading, which was much shorter than the first. 26 is an 8. Supports our ability to show up fully. You are indeed doing that. You can have your breaks. Don't feel like you have to do whatever you're doing 24-7. You do need your breaks. Uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through source. So this same source. So this has to go, this goes back to source as a whole, not allowing ourselves to be so splintered off this side against this side. That's, they do that on purpose to conquer us. They divide us to conquer us and we have to come back together. It isn't about left, right. It's not about just operating from your right hemisphere you got to, it's got to be, there's got to be a culmination and that's happening so that we can all arrive back to source. So carry on bitch toodles. Why is this here? Toodles, toodles, noodles. Huh, unexpected income. 27 breaks down to a nine. And then we've got privileged lady, 12, followed by false person, high honor. <clears throat> occupation so whoever this is external to you this vampire that's like realigning their whole nature they have told a network that could be privileged people false people though i feel like whatever privilege this might be is only surface superficial and that when you get down into that middle part of the onion you see that it's all based on fraud and theft and and nonsense but you could be receiving some unexpected income or someone has turned down this vampire that's reworking themselves so that they can come back to you or that's what they think because they see that you're winning yeah they um they're not taking any cash they're not taking any bribes any buyouts someone's willing to sacrifice it all to show you that they they can be different This person could be very dramatic. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's very dramatic. Like theatrical, for real. Keep raising your bar. There's no end to the miracle that you are. You are connected always to source. Whoa! Wealthy man. Landing on dilettante. Hmm. Mature woman, distant horizon, message, message of concern, community, imprisonment, courtship, child. So we've got this wealthy character coming out here. This could be this follow, fallen angel. I almost said follow. They're following you. This wealthy man's been following you, man or woman, through lifetimes. You're visiting them in their dreams. And you may not know it. This person has a lot of knowledge, but it's uh, material knowledge. They could be incredibly great when it comes to money and the superficial things. But you're teaching this person about source. Uh, you could have been a companion with, with this person in another lifetime. You came or you could have come together. This is very significant. This yellow is somewhat dreamy even. Willpower. Contributions. This energy wants to contribute to your mission, whatever that is. Mature woman. Someone sees you as incredibly mature, sincere, authentic, brilliant, willful, skillful, You don't play around. Whoever you are, you don't play around. Hold on. I didn't get a... Why didn't I get cards for this? It will never be over between us. I won't allow it. Let me just get the Kipper. Well, house. And then official person. Main mail. <laughs> Why did I do that? I should have just... <laughs> I should have just left it as it was. So this person who feels they are your official person, this feels like the same energy. Official person, main male, one, two, two, or two, two, one could be significant. 
Some of you could be born January 22nd or February 21st, 35, 8, and then Great Fortune is 8, 26 is an 8. So we've got 8, 8 energy. Something about a home. Let me clarify this wealthy man here. So you've got at least two or three energies that are very hell-bent on being a participant in your life. And this doesn't have to be romance, but for one, it's definitely romance. But in other cases, it could be um, some sort of spiritual mission through work. Work, creative, creative works. Wealthy man, something about a home. Someone's been driving by your home for sure, walking past, message. There's a wealthy man that wants to give a message to you. We have bad health here. And we have coffin here, marriage, lovers. So, I mean, this when these two show up together, it's, it's usual. I mean, it's not, you know, it's traveling on to another place in time, space in time. So you could be receiving a message with regard to someone, um, or this could be major transformation. We do have marriage behind coffin and bad health and lovers and concern and thoughts. Oh, yeah, yeah. This feels more to like this is someone that is in the public eye currently. They're already married. They're in bad health. They'll be going away. All these lovers are going to come out of the woodwork and there's a lot of concern. How can we spin this story um, separately on the micro level? This could be someone that needs to communicate with you before they pass on. That energy came through pretty loud and clear in yesterday's reading. So I'll put this back. Let's get another card, see what comes out because it was in the deck. It didn't come out. So let's just see. I think I'm, I'm pushing my luck here. So someone knows they've, they've pushed their luck with you. We have journey. So, and then we've got poverty. 37 is a 10, followed by mature man, change. Whatever this is, it's transformative. Yeah, transformative for sure. Okay, the train is moving. The train is moving. Coffin at the bottom. Marriage. So there's a marriage that's over. Lovers. Yeah. Someone wants to marry you. They've ended something. Someone's ended something. I mean, like a big bam. It's done. Okay. How you feel about it is how you feel about it. I don't know. Let's just get the tarot here for this wealthy man, which is the only character out with the Kipper, the mature woman. Didn't come out, but now I'm seeing the main female here and sudden wealth. Something is going to come at you suddenly. You may or may not be prepared for whatever this is. A wealthy man. I almost said main male. So there's a main male in the background. Okay, we've got judgment. It's landing on companion and solar plexus. And this page of swords. So whatever message this is, it could be delayed coming from this wealthy man here. This person is calculating. You are dealing with someone who's not concerned about you calling the authorities. This is not one energy. So I'm really not sure what's going on. They're very curious about you. Here we have death again with pages. So oh my gosh, what in the world is this? Two of swords. Hold on. Hold the heck on. Page of Swords, Death, Page of Swords. Judgment is what came out landing on Companion and Solar Plexus. Judgment, Self-Evaluation. We've got Self-Evaluation out already with this. He's changing, wants to be a better man. So you are indeed connected to a wealthy, powerful person, whether they are on the macro or micro level. But because I talk so much about the astral traveling, I feel like you are connecting with multiple, multiple people in high powered positions. Mm, I definitely feel that, especially with the Page of Swords twice. And look, there, this Page of Swords is going that way. This one is facing this way, but the away from the sword. 
the sword is behind them, the sword is forward. So there's some sort of duality here. Death is in between. Oh my gosh. Snap death. No, that's not. This is this is very metaphysical. Very metaphysical. This is not planetary. This is beyond the planet. This is something happening above. It's happening in between. Something about the in between. Ooh. Lord. You're showing the way. You're the way, the way, the way. What is that? Wayfarer? Fair, yeah, that's this wayfarer energy. Yep. Okay, I gotta, yeah. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, let's just go to vampire here sideways. He's changing, wants to be a better man. <clears throat> Three of Clubs, it's landing sideways on Vampire. So they're waiting for something. <laughs> okay, so you, I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with like a, a, a cult, a, a cult or a, a, a coven of fallen angels that were, that, can't, that, that, I don't know what, what I, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, the Empress, followed by the Nine of Coins, so Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, Justice, the Devil, Ten of Wands, you have not, whatever battle, this is spiritual warfare, like on Ten, you are a force to be reckoned with. You are bringing powerful people to their knees and you may not be aware of this. This is stroke of genius. Something about a stroke of genius. You're a genius in how you, you uh, something about combat, spiritual combat. What you're doing is incredible, intangible, has to be, has to be, it's got to do with this judgment, companion, solar plexus, willpower. Your willpower is endless. Your contribution is to the whole. You understand that your contribution is to the whole and that whole includes this, these fallen angel energies. These tyrannical energies that are on full display. So something about on full display. Oh my gosh, let's just get this deck because I'm overwhelmed. So you could be like, you feel, you're feeling this shift. You're understanding your role on this planet and it just could really be overwhelming you right now. And that's okay. So you're dealing with something macro or micro that's overwhelming, You but you're getting your bearings because this is new. You're in a uh, new territory, something about new territory. So let's go back to this wealthy man. Oh, I don't even, I don't know if I want to know what this is. <laughs> let's just see, wealthy man. So someone wants you to be their advisor. Yeah. Domino effect. Thank you, spirit, because I'm telling you the way I'm stuttering and stumbling, I'm like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but whatever I said is what I said. Domino effect. You are having a domino effect on the whole, the whole thing. The whole thing. That's what you're here to do with this sword twice. So you've you've got something cornered. You've got something cornered. This death. It's cornered. No one gets to go. They, these fallen angels can't go back from where they came. They don't get to go anywhere until they learn. So you've got death surrounded. You've got death surrounded. Damn, I don't, what the heck, man. Yeah, with wealthy man being 13 and death being 13, and we've got, you've got these, yeah, You've got them surrounded, collective. 
They can't go anywhere, up or down, up or down. You're in charge of the bar, raising the bar. Okay, let's just get some overall and see what else comes out. This is crazy. <clears throat> he knows you are a liar, resents being played for a fool. Be careful. This is landing with this carry-on bish. So for some of you who have this, uh, this uh, recovering vampire on your heels, they're still in that energy, that ego energy of being very pissed off that they were played. And they know they have to make some corrections to some scenery before they can even step foot near your home, okay? Let's get another card. You are indeed home to someone or to many. People are very, oh, you are handsome. Somebody's very handsome. Somebody sees you as very handsome. Okay, whoop, whoop. Well, that's enough. Let's just see what we got. AI generated photos still at the bottom. Let's just see. Rikers Island, political spectrum, rare gem. They are lying to your face. Aquarius, Leo, Aries. What did I tell you? You've got these, these energies on lockdown, okay? With this Rikers Island political spectrum, rare gem coming out together. Come on now. And the domino effect, are you kidding me right now? They are lying to your faces. So you are showing everybody, can't you better see the this for what it is, these people for who they are, these things. And I will not use the word E-L-I-T-E -E to describe these. I will not ever use that word, okay? You won't hear me say it. I don't call them that. That's not what they are. Yeah, Rikers Island, domino effect. So when one falls down, they all fall. They're all falling down. You've got death surrounded. Whew. Despair mongering. Their games are coming to an end. You are the true blood. You're the true blood. Ruler. Oh. Final messages. <laughs> Yeah. Who's the crazy person now, right? Yep. Whoa. Claire Cognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. And then we've got courage. This is, man, Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. That's what you're doing. You're standing up for your beliefs. And you dare the enemy to come into your territory. They will not go well. So the enemies are surrounded. They're being rounded up. There's a domino effect. And you are indeed this rare gem. So you could be wanting to work with this bloodstone. The bloodstone with the vampire card and the true blood card, I think, are significant too. So yeah, Middle Ages activating red jasper spattered constantly overworked and completely drained by the soul sucking machinations of modern life so you could be dealing with a capricorn or you're, you are a capricorn right wherever you do the important work spiritual physical and psychological so you're doing it all you're doing it all you're covering many spectrums all right collective that's what i have I will see you guys soon in another video.